Well, I am back for video number two. Anywho, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and my personal Facebook page. Thank you very much. That information will be down below. Now it is time once again to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't do like that, maybe you want to like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And of course, the article will be down below or the link will be down below. For this one, there will be a link. Let's roll this. I guess there was rumors fl flow around in WWE that AJ Styles is unhappy with the WWE. And I guess it's not true. AJ Styles comment on the claim that he's unhappy with this spot in the WWE during his re recent Twitch stream. Okay, I am unhappy being the Intercom Champion. I am unhappy. What? What do I have to be unhappy about? We will understand what happened with Paul Heyman. The problem with everything that happens is that is why it happened. So I guess he is happy with the WWE. So all that stuff, he's unhappy. It was all a lie. It was just rumors. So, he don't like Paul Heyman. Can we all get along? Can we? I guess that's not the case. So, do you think that AJ Styles is telling the truth on, on his Twitch stream last night or whenever it happened? Or do you think he's just covering it up for something? I think he's telling the truth. From my point of view, um, I never knew that Paul Heyman is that kind of guy. Probably there's a lot of people backstage are freaking idiots, you know. But we don't know the truth, you know. They're not going to say it. Other wrestlers will come and, come and say it up forward, you know. AJ Styles, I really wish he was part of the Ad Tour. That would be awesome, but I think he... Work in a lot of independent scenes. He did work for WF back in the many, many moons ago for like a for a Sunday night heat, like a warm up match before the show actually kicked off. Can you just imagine if WF actually or WF actually kept him around longer? They did the same thing with Samoa Joe, and eventually they got released, and eventually they went to TNA and they became mega stars. AJ Styles and Samoa Joe. If those two guys stay with the company with WF back then, who will know if W will use them or WF, WWE, whatever, use them correctly or use them as a jobbers back then? Who knows? We will never, never know. You know? Do you guys remember Samoa Joe used to be in, the, in WF? I guess um, Velocity and other random shows, he had like blonde hair. This is way before it got really popular. Same thing with AJ Styles, you know? Now look at AJ Styles. He is popular than ever, you know? What is your favorite match of AJ Styles in his whole entire career? What was your favorite match of Samoa Joe his whole entire career? Leave a comment down below. I guess Samoa Joe eventually is gonna he's gonna come off the injury list. I don't know why I said injury list because it happens. So eventually he's going to come back and kick some major butt. But we all know that Samoa Joe will never be the top guy anymore because he's always injured. Probably that's why we don't want to take a risk on him. Now has AJ Styles ever been injured since he's been with the WWE? I don't think so. So hopefully they give him another opportunity as uh, the main guy on Raw or SmackDown. Or is he going to keep the Intercon title until he hangs it up? So I guess this Friday he's going to face Jeff Hardy um, on SmackDown. That match should take place at uh, at SummerSlam, but maybe something will be a crazy finish. And both guys will have a rematch at SummerSlam. Who knows? So all I guess I wish your thoughts of SmackDown with a new 
um, thing coming up on Friday. Um, hopefully it's not going to be a disaster, but I guess they use that from Mad Max, the movie. I forgot what it called, but we'll see. It might be a good thing or a bad thing for Friday Night Smackdown. I guess it's going to be live. So yesterday, last night, was the last one ever going to be at the Performance Center. I don't think they will ever return there. So at, at the home of Orlando Magic, they're going to be there until October. I made a video on it recently if you guys watched that video. Everyone out there, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Take care, respect your hair, and I'll be back tomorrow. Peace out. Thanks for watching.